drums. I just can't get enough of the sound and the tone qualities you can uh, produce. You know, it's, it's, a, it's an ever evolving thing. And I guess the same goes for music. The palette that it teaches you to have. It teaches you to uh, start with a new canvas each time. It teaches you to improvise. It teaches you to like live and breathe, being you know comfortable in that moment. It teaches you also how to be uh, maybe a perfectionist with your writing and to, to compose something. And it teaches you a lot about you know how you go about things in your life and and how you be about things. I guess that's the deeper part of what I like about music. I think that Stickum was uh, put together between me and Bob Reynolds, the sax player. Uh, that's in the band and he's fantastic. He's, uh, he plays with John Mayer and he plays with a bunch of people, Snarky Puppy. I think that we were just discussing uh, ways to play together and I just thought of a creative, eclectic mix of music to play with certain eclectic musicians that I knew from the past. I want to definitely share that experience, you know, with different players and I think that's the whole point is to speak different languages with different people and enjoy that experience, you know, separately. It it's just creates a lot of variety for a musician in their life to do that. We, we've been playing a show maybe once every couple of years, but I think that I just put it together when I can, you know? Who brought in Dave Grohl? <laughs> yeah, I chose to get with Keith and Spin Cycle because I knew that he would do a great job to hustle. Being with someone who actually cares about the artist and who puts in the, uh, the work, I appreciate doing something with people who actually care about what they're doing. All here. My name is Keith from uh, Spin Cycle Presents. It's a real pleasure to be here with you guys tonight, hosting this amazing party with y'all. Very uh, relaxed vibe out here. Being out on the West Coast always ends up being that way. And it's a huge scene, it's really cool. And you know, a lot of people are uh, very stoked to see really good music. I mean, it's one of the en entertainment meccas of the world, probably the entertainment mecca of the world. I think there's a lot of great new bands coming up and, and you know, I'm, I'm excited about, you know, seeing the variety of uh, styles, the, you know, the, the various genres that I'm seeing within the newer, you know, the newer jam band scenes, uh, you know, like I think that, I think it's just too safe to try to like do the cliched thing that, some, some, that has already been done over and over. It's time to like find your own voice at some point and just, you know, take that chance. That's part of the process, and you would hope that you could, you know, learn how to get better at it. Overall, um, I'm excited to see that the players are, are trying to get better and have a better quality of sound. <laughs> Drums. I just can't get enough of, you know, packing them up and carrying them around. <laughs> I love the energy. I love the way people come out to the shows and they're really, truly excited and immersed into the music when we play. 
I'm really happy to be here, and I definitely, uh, you know, I'm happy to see all my old friends again. Whether it's a jam show or whether it's a, a funk show or jazz, it just feels right when you're working with the right people. Plus, you know, it's a good hang, and uh, I think that's important too, you know? It's not all about business and getting all uptight about this and that.